Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 11 on page 434. The parametric equations of a line are given as x equal to negative 10 minus 2s, y equal to a plus s, where s is an element of real numbers. This line crosses the x-axis at the point with coordinates a, a0, and crosses the y-axis at the point with coordinates b, 0b. If O represents the origin, determine the area of the triangle AOB. Step 1. Draw a diagram. Based on the numbers that are given to you, this implies that you have to move to the left by 10 and move up by 8. So, when you scale this, make sure you go left by 10, up by 8, and again, you can always rewrite this in vector equation first before graphing. So what that means is if you look at the given, the corresponding vector equation equals to, and again, you can just pair these accordingly by first looking at the x component. So x equals to negative 10 minus 2s. So x equals to negative 10 minus 2s. So negative 10 goes there, and negative 2 goes there. Likewise, if you look at the y component, y equals to 8 plus s. So you can plug in 8 and 1, respectively. So step 1, when you're graphing this, you start with negative 10, 8. So you go left by 10, up by 8. You can label this. Now, the corresponding direction vector is going to be negative 2, 1. Really important that you remember if you're given any directional vector or any slope, they can go back and forth. So if the directional vector is A, B, the corresponding slope is going to be B over A, which implies in this case, since the direction vector is going to be negative 2, 1, the corresponding slope it's going to be 1 over negative 2. So now, when you go back, you take that point, and you go down by 1, right by 2. And you can keep going until you pass both the x and the y intercepts. You can draw a straight line. Don't forget the arrows. And there's the graph. Now, the reason why graphing is very powerful is because we already found the answers before solving it algebraically. So again, there's a b, or the y-intercept at b, or 0b, and the x-intercept at a, a0. So by inspection, you can tell that the y-intercept should be 0, 04, right? And the corresponding x-intercept, sorry, 0, 03. This is a mistake. Let's move this back up. And the corresponding x-intercept should be 6, 0. So let's show this step by step. So again, you can divide this into two different columns. Let's find the corresponding x-intercept and y-intercept. Now, just be mindful. To find the intercepts, for example, the x-intercept, your goal is to set y to 0, and you solve for x. And it turns out there's a third step that you have to do in between. So if you want to set y to be 0, y is given to be a plus s. So 0 equals to a plus s. This implies that s equals to negative 8. Then you go back to the first statement, x equals to negative 10 minus 2s, and you plug in negative 8. Negative 10 minus 2 times negative 8, that's going to be negative 10 plus 16. So x is going to be 6. And again, this means the x-intercept is located at 6, 0, which we knew from graphing. So again, you go back and you can update this by writing down 6, 0. Now likewise, if you look at the y-intercept, in general, you always set x equal to 0 and you solve for y. So step one, if you plug x to be 0, that means 0 equals to negative 10 
minus 2s. To find s, you can bring negative 2s to the left hand side. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2, so s is going to be negative 5. You plug it back in, so y equals to 8 plus s, and if you plug in negative 5, that's going to be 8 minus 5, so y equals to 3. And again, this implies that the y-intercept, b, is located at 0, 3, which we knew from graphing. So you go back to the graph, and you update this by writing down 0, 3. Now, the question is really asking you for the area. So if you look at this last part, the area of triangle AOB. And of course, O stands for the origin. B is already given to you. A is here. So really finding the area of this triangle. And again, to find the area of a triangle, that's going to be half times base times height. So the base is going to be 6. The height is going to be 3. So it's going to be half times 6 times 3. When you work this out, that's going to be 9 units square. And that's how you find the area of triangle AOB. I hope this makes sense.